Now that you know more about the meanings of colors, let's see how to mix colors together to come up with a great color scheme for our design. The color wheel is very useful when creating color schemes. Traditional color scheme patterns are um, combinations of colors based on their relationship to each other. And these traditional schemes can help you to quickly come up with harmonious and interesting palettes. Monochromatic color schemes are made up of different tones, shades and tints within a specific hue. These are the simplest color schemes to create, as they are all taken from the same hue. Monochromatic color schemes tend to be unified and harmonious. This makes them pretty effective at establishing a general mood. But the downside is they can become monotonous due to the lack of diversity of hues. Complementary color schemes are based on colors opposite to each other on the color wheel. For example, red and green, or blue and yellow. Complementary color schemes are tricky to use in large doses, but work very well when you want something to stand out. The complement color is best used as an accent color. A yellow call to action on a page dominated by blue will be quite effective, for instance. A scheme with one hue plus two others equally spaced from its complement is called split complementary. This color scheme has the same strong visual contrast as the complementary color scheme, but has less tension. Analogous color schemes are based on colors adjacent to each other on the color wheel. Analogous color schemes are often found in nature. They are pretty harmonious and pleasing to the eye. However, they don't provide a lot of contrast. What I recommend you to do is to choose one color to dominate, and a second to support the main color, and a third color for accents. You can of course adjust tints, shades and tones to set the hierarchy between colors, but we'll talk about that in a second. Triadic color schemes use colors that are evenly spaced around the color wheel. They offer both contrast and harmony. Use one of these colors as the dominant color, and the other two for accents. And finally we have the rectangle, tetradic or double complementary color scheme. It uses four colors arranged into two complementary pairs. This rich color scheme offers plenty of possibilities for variation, but it can be a bit difficult to balance, so the best way to use a scheme like this is to use one color as the primary color and the others just as accents. Alright, let's now try to take one of these traditional schemes and see how we can play around with it. In order to do that, we'll work with Adobe Cooler that you can find at coolerkuler.adobe.com. The app is made of a color wheel that you can make bigger by clicking on it, and five colors that you can find here but also on the wheel. Five is a good number to start working on your color scheme, but you might end up with more than five colors further down the road. You can select a traditional scheme, like analogous, monochromatic, triadic, and move the colors around while keeping the geometry of the scheme. So this can be pretty useful. You can also um, select a custom scheme if you want, where you can do anything you like and place the colors just as you feel. You can also choose what color model you want to use. So click over here, you can use the RGB, CMYK, HSB, and we'll use the HSB because we know how it works now. So, let's see if we can work on an analogous scheme. Our base color is the one in the middle, with the white arrow that you can also see on the color wheel. And you can move it around if you want to place it here, it will still stay the, the base color. You can also set another color as the base color by clicking in here like this, and of course you can change the color of the base color by moving it around on the wheel. So this is a nice color scheme, but we can adjust the saturation and brightness to add some contrast to it. This is the saturation, and this is the brightness.
By playing around with saturation and brightness, you can add more contrast to a color scheme like this, like we just did. Let's now see how we can create a color scheme from scratch, and you can do that in color by working from a picture, and that's pretty interesting. Once the picture is uploaded, color creates a nice color scheme for you. And you can change the color mood to bright, muted, deep, um, dark, or a custom where you can do whatever you like. And you can move the pickers around, for instance, we can move that one here, use that one, something like this. You can also download the mobile app, so you'll be able to save color schemes from anything you see using the camera on your phone. You can also work with the color wheel on your mobile phone, save uh, color schemes to uh, adjust them later on your computer, so that's pretty useful. So let's go back to the color wheel. There are two very easy ways to come up with your own very effective schemes. And the first one is to uh, choose one color and take a few tones, tints and shade of this color and choose another color that's at least three spaces away on the color wheel. I'm talking about the simplified color wheel with the primary, secondary and tertiary colors here. We'll start by choosing our base color. You can make the wheel a bit bigger if you need to. And we'll copy and paste the hex code for the next color and we'll adjust um, saturation and brightness. to have a darker shade or a lighter shade. We'll do the same thing for this color and the next one. I can do some uh, adjustments as we're working on the scheme. And now we'll uh, try to find the accent color, something like like this for instance. But the easiest way is to start by using only one color. So uh, choose a hue and then use shades and tints like we just did of this hue to create the natural colors that will go with it. That's actually what we'll do for uh, our application. So uh, let's start with our base color. We'll put it over here. We'll use the base color we've defined in the previous video. We can use the HSB. Uh, coordinates or the hex code. We'll use the same hue for the next color but we'll have um, no saturation and almost no brightness to create a very dark color and we'll repeat the process uh, for the next colors increasing the brightness each time.
something like this. And your homework for this lesson will be to um, add the new colors to our style guide. When working on color schemes for your own projects, you will need inspiration, like for everything else in design. So here are a few resources, but you'll find tons more on the internet. Try uh, typing color schemes, color palettes, and stuff like that on Google, and you should be able to find some interesting stuff. What I suggest is that you start by checking Dribble. Um, as I've shown you earlier, for uh, each image you can see the colors used. And if you click on one of the colors, you'll see all the designs that use this color. This is great if you want to see what colors all the designers are using with this base color. For example, a dark red with various uh, shades and tints of red. Or a uh, dark blue, sometimes with orange. Let's have a look at another color like not yellow. A lot of designers use um, the complementary color with yellow, blue, that works very well. Some purple in this, it's quite interesting. Green with purple can be interesting too. This looks like a, a good call to action, stands out a lot. Spend some time exploring colors in Dribble, this can be very, uh, very interesting. You can also check this website, colorlovers.com. There's a lot of different uh, schemes and palettes that can be pretty uh, inspiring. Also, don't forget to um, go to uh, Cooler and to explore existing schemes by other designers or other people. And what's cool is that you can also play around with this existing schemes. Let's uh, click on edit and you can start with this as a basis and then you know, play around with it. Of course you can sign up and create an account in order to be able to save your schemes and to share them if you want. The best way to get better at this is to practice, so try to explore what we've learned and come up with color schemes that you like just for the sake of it. Doesn't have to be for uh, any specific project, just enjoy playing around.